Hi, Gemini. I'm Sade from Blue Valley Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for December. Uh, we're going to take a look at what's going on with you and your person, what happened in the past, what's going on in the present, and what's going to take place in the future. Please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Um, also, could you comment below and let me know if it resonates? If it doesn't, please check your moon or rising sign. Uh, also, if you would like to book a reading, you can click the link in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the first one, you have playfulness. It says, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Then it says, forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So basically, I feel like it's saying, forgive your person. Get back to when you two used to have a lot of fun. Get back to, you know... That honeymoon stage, you know, that honeymoon stage always, you know, it's just the butterflies, it's playfulness like that says. Um, then this one says, balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So basically, forgive, find balance, and try to get back to like the childlike version of you two. Now let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards are saying. We're going to take a look to see what's going on in the past, the present, and the future for you and your person. I'm going to shuffle these cards. Okay, so it looks like your person may have a lot to say because these cards are just popping out all over the place. Take this for the past. Spirit, can you let me know? Okay. Present. And this is actually popping out on top. Future. Okay. So for the past, we have the magician. For the present, we have the knight of coins. And for the future, we have the ten of wands. Okay, Gemini. So with the magician, you could be dealing with the Aries, Virgo, Gemini, or a Leo. Um, so in the past, when you met this person, of course they were single. Um, they were very interested in you. They were very focused on you. They were extremely sexually attracted to you. Um, not only was they trying to manifest a relationship with you, but they were trying to manifest a sexual relationship with you. So everything started out really fun between you all. Cause remember with the Oracle playfulness and they wanted you to get back to this, so it's like, you know, you two had like this kid-like spirit. Um, it just kind of felt like you just meshed well with one another. And that's because this is someone who truly manifested you into their life. Um, with the magician, this is usually someone, so your person may be like self-employed, um, talented in certain areas in life, inspiring. They could either be a even be a tarot reader, or this could be your energy, um, or some sort of leader. Like people kind of look up to them. So, but they're really, really good at manifesting things. So, like I was saying, in the past, they manifested you in your into their life. They manifested this relationship. Now, in the present, you have the Knight of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy as well. Um, so this is, out of all the nights in the deck, this is the slowest moving night. So, but this lets me know that your person definitely sees you right now as marriage material. However, they work against themselves a lot because like I said, they, this is the slowest moving night. They are not quick to take action. Um, and if you're wondering, will this person ever marry me? Yes, they want to marry you. Like I said, they see you as marriage material. But the question that you need to ask yourself is, are you willing to sit around and wait for them to take that step? Because I get that your person, they work a lot. Like they're a workaholic. Um, this Your person may be someone who puts work before everything. A lot of times they come off very serious, focused. This is someone who's probably like a perfectionist. And a lot of times that may drive you absolutely insane. Um, 
And it's like, you know, I always hear this saying, a, a man, or this could be a woman, take it however it resonates, but a man that has a lot of time on his hands is not making any money. A man that has no time on his hand is, you know, is out there making money, trying to build a future. So it's like you kind of got to decide what you want. However, remember you got the balance Oracle card. So it's saying even though, you know, he's working to provide for you and maybe if you two have children, I'm not sure. But if he's working to provide for you himself and possibly, you know, children, um, you two somehow have to try to find balance because you you're starting to feel neglected within this connection due to the fact that your person is just working too much. Now, for some of you, um, if you're saying, well, my person doesn't work that much. It may be a third party. However, I'm not getting a third party. So I just want to make that clear. I don't have any third party cards out, um, but take this story however it resonates. I will clarify these car cards, but right now, I'm truly just getting that this is about work. I feel like majority of you are dealing with someone that just is so busy, constantly works a lot. And, you know, right now in the present, you just feel like you don't get any of their time. You barely talk. You barely go out on dates. It's just like, what are we doing? Like, I'm I'm bored. I, I need something else. Um, I'm, I'm just getting fed up with this. And in the future, I see you have the Ten of Wands. It's the Sagittarius energy. So this is pretty much someone... It's, it's just letting me know that you feel like giving up. You, you're at the point of feeling like you just want to end it because you're just tired of feeling like you're in a one-sided relationship now this lets me know that you just feel like you know you almost feel like a burden in this relationship um or that's how your person makes you feel or you may feel like your person just comes with too much baggage and it's just like why you just want to be you just basically want to know, like, why does things have to be this way? How can we get back to how things used to be? And sometimes you just have to take a look at the relationship and you have to ask yourself, is this healthy? Um, but I feel like maybe your person has other issues that they're battling as well. And it's not just work. I feel like they bury themselves into work so they don't have to deal with whatever demons they may be, you know, fighting behind closed doors. And I feel like, Gemini, you may be the type of person who try to take on other people's problems. And, you know, ask yourself, like, um, am I taking on my person's accountabilities? And if, if the answer is yes, then, you know, you need to stop. You need to learn how to say no because you can't pour from an empty jug and yours is running low, too. So your person got to figure out how to get balance in their own life, you know, before they try to pour into this relationship. And I feel like you're starting to you're starting to be in the place where it's just starting to feel like this relationship is draining you and you don't know what to do. Like, you know, your person loves you. You know, your person sees a future with you, but it's just like you can't do it anymore. You you need a change. You need them to be more attentive to your needs, to your emotions, just to you physically. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Spirit, can you clarify this magician? Why is this magician here? Clarify the magician for Gemini. Spirit, can you clarify the Knight of Pentacles? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Clarify the Ten of Wands. Spirit, can you give me a final likely outcome card for Gemini and that person? crazy because you had the tower card and I did a reading for a few people today and quite a few people the tower card came out so let's see what this is about so you have the four cups the tower the seven of wands and the ace of swords okay so with the four of cups this is Scorpio energy this card talks a lot about contemplating um daydreaming so I see for a lot of you um you know, you're sulking right now, you're obsessing over this relationship or this situationship, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, you just don't know what to do. Um, 
you want some changes to be made, but you don't really know where to start. You want you want your person to, you know, come in and fix things. Um, and, you know, you're starting to judge yourself. Like, is it my fault? Should I have done this? Should I have done that? Or you may be pointing the finger at them. You, you just, you just, you know, re you really just don't know what to do. And you want to have a heart to heart conversation with your person. And I, I feel like you actually can feel that, you know, they want to talk to you as well. And I see that one of you is really contemplating a conversation in your head, like contemplating what, what, what you're going to say to the other. Um, and you're trying to picture what you think they're going to say back. And I feel like you've been doubting yourself a lot in this relationship, like whether or not your person wants you. Um, but just know that, you know, they do want you. What you need to do right now, because I feel like you lost sight of who you are within this connection. And you need to, you know, get back focused. You got you got to refocus on the positive, refresh your attitude, because I feel like right now, Gemini, you're being your own worst enemy. Um and you need to remember it's what you do with what you have that counts. So, you know, if this relationship is not working for you, shift your focus onto something that is working for you. Um, because honestly, you're better off than what you think you are. So try not to lose sight of any of your goals, your aspirations, and your dreams. Now, you do have the tower, which is Scorpio and Aquarius energy. Um, so... The tower just means that something is, is there about, there's about to be a shakeup within this connection. So some of you may already be in separation. If not, some of you may be ready to separate. Because when you get the tower, this just basically means that when you don't want to leave someone or let go of a situation, spirit will do it for you. So it's like things that you cannot control. So it's like God saying, you know what, you won't do it for yourself, so I'll do it for you. Um, so this is like really like a sudden change and it forces you to move on and to just adapt to your new situation. And honestly, it's no point in resisting this energy because it's going to serve a purpose in your life. So whatever God is removing from your life or shaking up in your life, it's for a bigger purpose for your life. Um, so see the possibilities within the challenges. So just trust that it's all happening for a reason. So let me go ahead and clarify the tower card. Here, why is the tower card here for Gemini? Okay, so you have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the Seven of Swords clarify the tower. So I feel like your person is being sneaky and deceptive about something, and I, I believe that it would it may have to do with the third party, and it's not just work, and this could just be for some of you. And that's because with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Swords, which is your final likely outcome card, with these three together, this is just basically telling me that, you know, your person is trying to hide something from you. Um, they're, they're pretty much being sneaky. And with the Seven of Wands, I see that some of you may have this person blocked right now because of something they did or something you may have found out. And if they're not blocked, then you may have blocked them in the past. Or you just simply feel like spirit is just blocking this connection altogether. And with the Ace of Swords, this represents clarity. Um, you know, challenges that lie ahead. And remember, this was your likely, your final likely outcome card. So this just lets me know that, you know, right now your mind is running at 100 miles per hour. You're having restless nights. And that's because you feel and you know and you like intuitively you know that you're about to find something out if you haven't already um, found it out already. And a lot of times, you know, this has to do with someone finding out that their significant other is cheating on them. And you know it's time for you, you two to have a difficult but necessary conversation. Um... And I feel like that's just kind of driving you crazy. It may, it may be giving some of you anxiety. Um, so if you two are in separation and you're wondering if you're going to speak again, the answer is yes, because there's going to be communication coming in because you're about to find out the truth about something, whether you want to know it or not. Um, because this is, to me, it's similar. The Ace of Swords is similar to a, to a tower moment because it represents an awakening. So you already had the Tower card. Um, and remember, the Seven of Swords clarify that. So that means it's something sneaky going on within this 
connection. And I feel like you're trying to detach yourself from this person if you haven't already done that. So some of you already know what's going on if your person is cheating or not. Um, or lie to you about something. And for others of you, you are about to find out because your person will reach out to you. So pretty much just to sum it up, um, for some of you, you know, your person just works too much. They don't give you their time like they used to. You two don't, you may not go on dates anymore. The sex may not be the same and you're just feeling bored and confused and feeling like your person do not want you however your person do truly love you they do see you as marriage material for others of you um i feel like your person has lied to you about something they may have cheated on you you either found out or you're about to find out um and how you choose to deal with it i do truly feel like some of you are going to detach from this situation but you will have a conversation with your person about it. So you will give your person a chance to explain themselves because it's going to be a hard conversation that you two are going to have, but it's a necessary conversation. It's very necessary. So let's pull some advice cards and see what you need to know. What messages do you have for Gemini for this week in December? What messages do you have for Gemini? And for some of you, if it is just work um, and it has nothing to do with a third party, then I feel like when your person comes to you and you all have that conversation, then you know you all need to figure out how to put some balance back into this connection. Because I do feel like this connection can go the long run. Because like I said, your person do truly love you. Um, so you may not just want to throw it away altogether. Sir, what messages do you have for Gemini? Okay, let's see what this says. So this says universe. We're all just stardust. When we're children, we can barely comprehend the vastness of our own lives, let alone the existence of other planets. It's not long before we learn we aren't the center of the universe. We are but specks of stardust in one of many skies. However, we must all still do our part to take care of our own individual worlds, or else it throws everything else off balance. Make sure to keep balance in your life. Don't forget the bigger picture, which is recycle, don't litter, and give thanks. So basically, this is saying the same thing as the first Oracle card. Your life needs some balance in it. And yes, Gemini, you know, it's basically saying you are, um, the world basically doesn't revolve around you. So for some of you who person is just working so much and in their mind, they have good intentions because, you know, they want to be a great provider for you. So it's basically saying instead of just throwing that away, try to find balance where your person can still work and be the provider, um, and somehow you two can still find time for one another. And then the next one. This says shark. Swim away from this situation. Think of this as the lover's reverse from traditional tarot. You've been hanging around a bloodthirsty shark and they've hurt you before. This could refer to a lover or could refer to another loved one, such as a friend or family member. To put it simply, you deserve better treatment and you're never going to find it with them. Leave now. Situations like this often grow so dire that you no longer feel safe swimming away. So like I was saying, there's two storylines for, for all of you. Some of you, it has to do with your person working too much. The other, it has to do with your person cheating on you. And this shark card came under the tower card. So for some of you who's dealing with the person who lied to you, who may be cheating on you, this is telling you to swim away. Let this connection go. Now, let's see what the last one says. <clears throat> so the last one says, villain, you can always rewrite the story. A hard truth to swallow. Sometimes our villains win. However, that doesn't mean you should give up or lose all hope. It just means that it's time to rewrite the story and keep going. It can be incredibly freeing and empowering to reclaim yourself after a personal tragedy. So, yeah, so if you and your person have um, broken up, it's not the end of the world. 
you know, you have to figure out how to get back to who you were. Because remember I said some of you may have felt lost within this connection, like you lost yourself. So you need to get back to what used to make you happy before a relationship. Because if you can't make you happy, someone else cannot make you happy. If you don't know how to love yourself properly, no one else is going to know how to love you. So it all starts within. It starts with you first. Um, so like I said, take this however it resonates because it's truly two different storylines. It's going to resonate from some and for others it will not. Um, but I truly do hope that this helps Gemini. Please like, share, and subscribe and comment and let me know if it resonates. And I'll talk to you next week.